Please be seated. And co prosecutor, please uh, resume your questioning. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. President. I wanted to turn now, um, Mr. Witness, to uh, just describing the process of what took place um, on the occasions um, that you were assigned to take uh, photographs of prisoners. Uh, can you tell us uh, how you would be informed uh, that prisoners had arrived at S-21 uh, that you were expected to photograph? When prisoners arrived at S-21, so they would uh, make a landline phone call to me. And y you've talked about where you would go uh, to take photographs. Um, let me just clarify. Was there one location only at which you took photographs during the entire time you were at S-21, or were there different places um, uh, during the, the period of S-21 where prisoners would be photographed? At S21, to the location where they registered the uh, incoming and outgoing uh, prisoners. However, after three took uh, the cameras and the frames and the papers to uh, photo those uh, important prisoners, then we were not uh, authorized uh, to enter that particular uh, location. It was only for party members who had the rights to uh, go there. On the occasions where you yourself went, how long would it usually take you to photograph uh, the prisoners? Depending on the number, for small numbers, it took us uh, several minutes only, but for a larger number, then it took us more than an hour. And when you were f finished photographing the prisoners, did you see where they were taken? They went to the uh, detention buildings at S21. And after you were finished photographing uh, them, uh, where would you go? What would you do next? After I finish, I return to my location. And once the, all the films in the roll were taken, then I developed uh, those films. However, if, it, if, it, if uh, it was not used up, then I uh, kept it until it's used up. And you've talked about um, that it was after the photographs were developed, they were sent to T, to Sus T. Did, did you um, personally deliver them to Sus D, or did someone else uh, deliver the photographs uh, to him? I myself uh, did it. 
And what was done with the negatives? Were the negatives given to SUSTI also, or did you keep the negatives? The negatives uh, were stored in uh, my room, and only the photos were given to him. And can, can you describe for us how, how did you store the negatives? Was there any sort of filing system uh, by the date on which you took the photographs? Or how, how, how were the negatives stored in your room? We stored those uh, negatives in sequential uh, order, and uh, it was stored in an aircon room. I, I wanted to ask you about something that uh, the Defense Council um, covered with you uh, that I, I'm not sure I understand. Um, you, you talked about how there were some times where you waited four to five days uh, until there were enough prisoners before you would come to photograph them. Um, wh where, where is it that the, the prisoners would wait during this four to five day period? What was done with the prisoners during these four to five days? We did not keep uh, the prisoners. In fact, uh, the films in the roll was, was not fully used. For example, a roll of film would have 36 slots. And usually we would uh, take all the shots before we developed the film. We did not want to cut the middle part of the film roll in case that it would damage the rest of the film. For that reason, we kept until we use all the slots within the film before we developed it. I, I understand that. So perhaps I didn't understand your testimony. Are, are you saying you, you waited four to five days before developing the photos, or four to, you waited four to five days before you went over to photograph the prisoners? Let's say I took uh, three uh, uh, photos. It means that there will be still three, uh, 33 remaining shots within that roll, and I would not uh, develop that uh, film yet. I had to wait until I could take all the shots, and then I would uh, take the film and uh, develop it. I did not want to uh, cut part of the shots that I took because uh, that might uh, damage uh, the remaining uh, parts of the role. I, I understand. Let me just make sure I understand. You, you, would, you would take perhaps three photos one day, ten photos another day, five photos the day after that, and once you had taken all 36 photos, then you would develop the role. Was that the procedure? Yes, until I took all the photos uh, within a row, then I developed the film. Uh, Nunche's counsel um, showed you and asked you about um, two of the most common formats that we see in the S21 prisoner photographs. Um, and you made mention of uh, a period uh, in which there were, were no numbers. You also talked about taking 
photos of prisoners standing against the wall. Uh, I wanted to show you um, uh, some photographs to see um, uh, if this is what you were talking about uh, and uh, to see if you recognize the location. Um, uh, Mr. President, with your leave, I'd like to have a group of photographs to provide to the witness. Uh, while they're being provided, I'll read them into the record. Court officer, please uh, deliver the photos to the witness. And uh, for the record, the photographs that are being provided, um, the, the other source in which there are um, uh, over 5,000 ad uh, admitted photographs, uh, they are all uh, under E3 slash 8639 point, and then there's the photographs are numbered from one up to above 5,100. So each of these photographs um, that I'll be using today are, are in evidence as E3 slash 8639 uh, point something. So uh, the photographs that have just been handed to the witness are uh, E3 8639 point 4427 point 5089, a uh, .4926, .4724, and .5184. And with your leave, I uh, would like to show uh, some of the examples of these photographs on the screen, Mr. President. AV unit personnel, please uh, project uh, the photos as requested. So in the first three uh, or four photographs uh, in what I handed to you are prisoners um, who appear to be standing outside against a wall uh, with a curb on the ground. Uh, the one on the screen right now, which is 4926, you can actually see a building uh, with some uh, shutters. Uh, do, do you recognize this location, uh, Mr. Witness? It is at the location where uh, T registers the incoming and outgoing uh, prisoners. Very good. It's 49.31. I think I heard 49.26. No, no, no. The no. one that was displayed. No, that's the Yale number. Uh, the, the number 26 is on the ERN. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the number I'm going to read is the last part of the E3 uh, number. Um, Uh, th thank you, Mr. Witness. And uh, the last two photographs, if you would look at them uh, in the collection I provided, and if we could show uh, one of them or both of them on the screen, they're 4724 and 5184. Um, these photographs appear to be taken inside at a location that has a checkered floor. Um, do you see the photographs? And can we show them on the screen of the checkered floor? Uh, do you recognize that location? The uh, prisoner was brought in at night time, and I was. Uh, instructed to take a photo of the uh, women grouped in that uh, common room. And I refer here to the uh, building situated uh, to the north. Um, when you say the building to the north, can you, can you pr tell us a little bit more? Is this, is this inside the compound at the uh, in the building where Suis D worked, or was this outside the compound? Yeah, 
um, it is not uh, the building where Suti worked, but it was a building where prisoners were detained. However, uh, it was a, a large room where uh, women were detained there along with their children. And uh, you mentioned earlier that um, it was during the uh, early period of S21 where photographs in, in this manner were taken before you began using numbers. Do, do you remember approximately how many months it was that you took photographs uh, in the manner uh, shown here um, before you began using numbering? that time there uh, was no photograph uh, that is before we arrived and when we started we did not use the number as well and only later at the later part then we use a, a number okay thank you um, I Another group of photographs I'd like to ask you about. Um, defense counsel asked you about this practice of taking um, uh, photos of the prisoner from both the front and the side uh, that we saw in 1978. Uh, I want to uh, provide a couple of the examples uh, of side photos. Um, Mr. President, with your leave, I have another a group and I'll identify the uh, photographs uh, while they're being provided to the witness. Court officer, please deliver those photos uh, to the witness. So the next group of photographs uh, that are being provided for the record uh, are uh, E3 8639 .193. Point one nine six point four one four nine and point four one nine two and then there is also a photograph at the end which is uh, has a different uh, e3 uh, number to it e3 slash eight zero six three point seven four e3 8063.74. And if we can display uh, uh, one of these photos on the screen, um, uh, what's been. AV unit personnel, please uh, show the relevant photo on screen. So these photographs uh, taken from the side, uh, the one we're looking at now is, uh, is the uh, 0.193 uh, photo, the E3 number. Uh, you can see that the prisoners are seated in a chair of some sorts uh, and that there is some sort of instrument that is uh, behind their head. Um, can you tell the court uh, what it is that the prisoners were sitting in and, and what the this instrument is that we see right behind their head, to the left of their head. What, what was that used for? Regarding the uh, photos that were taken from the front and uh, to uh, the side, that uh, instrument or prod was given uh, to us and we could uh, use it uh, to steady the head. And sometimes we even took a measurement of the height of the uh, prisoners. When you measured the height of the, the prisoners, wh where did you record that and what was done with that information? We only
only did it for a few days, then we uh, stopped the practice because uh, it was uh, busier for us to do that. And if we could uh, look uh, at the uh, last uh, photograph in the sequence, uh, this is E3 slash 8063.74. Um, it's a montage of photos, uh, but if we could show on the screen and focus on uh, the photograph of the chair. Um, if you look at that photograph, the chair uh, we see there, um, this is a photograph taken from the Tool Slang Museum. Is that the chair that was used when you were photographing a prisoners uh, in this manner in 1978? We did not take uh, many photos with the, the prisoners who sat on the chairs, and uh, that the photographs were also taken from the side because it uh, consumed a lot of frames when we had to take two photos of each uh, prisoner, that is, from the front and from the side. And it also consumed more time, and we also had to uh, waste uh, more papers. Sometimes prisoners were ordered to sit uh, in the ch on the chair and photographs were taken and sometimes they uh, were standing. Uh, my, question, my question to you, Mr. Witness, if we could focus in on that chair a little more. It, is that the same chair, and you can see the instrument on the top of it, is that the same chair that we see uh, these prisoners in, in the photographs that I just showed you. There was uh, only uh, one. And, and was that chair kept uh, in, the, in the room that you normally photographed uh, prisoners? in 1978. At his place. Were there occasions, uh, Mr. Witness, when uh, photographs w were taken of prisoners uh, inside their prison cells. Yes. When uh, prisoners were uh, brought in during the night time, next morning guards would not take them downstairs for uh, photographs session, then we had to go there and take photos. And uh, how often did you have to go and take photographs uh, in the prisoner's cells? I went there probably for about two times. Um, during the uh, occasions um, where you had, where you were assigned to go to the prisoner's cells and photograph them there, can you tell us um, uh, what you observed in terms of the condition, conditions in which the prisoners lived? In the uh, common room, people were not uh, handcuffed or, or chained. However, for individual cells, both legs or, or ankles were uh, shackled. Uh, 
let me show you, um, Mr. President, with your leave, another group of photographs uh, of what appear to be prisoners in the cells. Um, uh, again, uh, if I may provide this to the witness, I will read the numbers into the record. Court officer, please uh, hand the uh, documents to the witness. And uh, for the record, the group of uh, photographs that have just been presented to the witness are E3 slash 8699.3299.3303.3795.3859 and .2585. Uh, and if we can put on the screen uh, to start uh, the first one, which is 8639.3299. Uh, uh, Maybe you need personnel, please uh, show that photo on the screen. Uh, when you described or testified to uh, prisoners being photographed on their cells on occasion, um, uh, is that what we see in the group of photographs I provided to you? Are these examples of photographs that were taken inside the cells at S21? Yes, uh, that is correct. At that time, those prisoners were not uh, taken downstairs and uh, they were uh, shackled in their cells. Then I was asked to uh, take their photos, so I brought along my camera and the necessary equipment in order to take their uh, photos. And um, were there, when, uh, when you were photographing prisoners not in their cells, but in the normal uh, room um, uh, where you took the photographs, uh, were prisoners sometimes in handcuffs uh, or sh shackles uh, at the time they were photographed in the normal room? In this photo, uh, prisoners were uh, shackled in their individual uh, cell. Uh, I meant to proceed to another, now to a different group of photos that, uh, uh, in which we can see, seem to see handcuffs and chains. Um, uh, with your leave again, Mr. President, uh, I have three photographs uh, to provide and I'll identify them on the record. Court officer, please uh, tie the photos uh, to the witness. And uh, for the record, the photographs are um, E3 and uh, .3813. Uh, and if we can display those on the screen, please. Maybe you need personnel, please uh, show the photos on the screen. Let's start with the first photograph, which is uh, 0 .3319, uh, 
Um, we can see a, a, a prisoners here who are a handcuffed. Um, was this a photo that was taken in a cell or was this taken in the normal room where you took prisoner photographs? This is a photo of uh, prisoners who just uh, arrived. That is uh, at the location where T uh, worked. For the prisoner who had, whose photograph had to be taken, uh, had to uh, sit, and the one who was standing was waiting for his turn to be uh, taken, the photograph. Were, were there um, some prisoners, the ones um, when they were brought into the room in addition to being handcuffs, uh, who were blindfolded? When they were brought in from the outside, uh, most of them were blindfolded, and only before they were uh, taken photograph, then the blindfolds were uh, removed. And if we could display on the screen uh, the next photograph, which is 33 uh, 21, um, with your leave. It's just a request to display on the, on the screen of one of the photographs that's already been provided. Yes, thank you. Is this an example of uh, what you just described? Uh, is this a photograph uh, in which we see a, a prisoner uh, who is blind, who is waiting his turn to be photographed and is blindfolded. Yes, as I have stated, when they were brought in, so they were blindfolded from the outside. And in, from what I could conclude, they were blindfolded after they had been arrested. And when they uh, arrived at the photography room, one, each of them was uh, in turn uh, removed. The blindfold for each of them was uh, removed in turn to, to be a photograph. Uh, and if we could put on the screen uh, the next uh, photograph in this series, which is uh, point three eight one three. Uh, and if you'd look, Mr. Witness, at the last photograph in your, uh, the group of three that I handed to you. Uh, in 3813, photo 3813, um, we see a prisoner um, who appears to be on the ground uh, with his hands uh, behind his back uh, connected to some sort of chain or rope. Um, can we show that on the screen uh, uh, with your leave, Mr. President? Um. Yes, uh, you may proceed. Uh, can, do you remember prisoners being brought into the room um, with their hands tied behind their backs, connected by chains? Uh, such as what what we see in this photograph. Uh, it is likely that the person was not handcuffed, and for that reason, uh, he was tied uh, with a rope and then he was ordered to sit against uh, the wall at uh, where he uh, worked. Uh, so uh, do I understand that you believe the, what we see in the, in the photo there is a rope 
uh, by which the prisoner is tied. Uh, do I understand correctly? Yes, it was perhaps a rope. Um, we talked uh, about your storage of negatives. Um, I had one other question about the negatives, uh, and uh, again, Mr. President, I have a group of uh, photographs I'd like to provide the, to the witness uh, to ask him about the, the practice with negatives. President, court officer, take the document to the witness. And for the record, the next group of uh, photographs that are being provided are E3 and 0 0.703. And uh, the reason I provided you uh, these, uh, this group of photographs where we can see the, uh, the negatives is uh, we can see in each of these photographs that there is some, uh, the names of the people have actually been written uh, onto, uh, appear to have been written onto the negative. Uh, in some of them, you can see it uh, in, in black. Uh, in uh, some of the photographs, too, you can see um, a, a white outline of the name that looks like it may have been written, uh, engraved somehow. M my question to you is, um, was there a period uh, when prisoner names were uh, somehow written right on to the negative uh, that you uh, kept. <clears throat> After the photos were taken, I store all the films, the paper, and the negatives. Yes, and was there any period or occasions where the, the names of the prisoners were somehow written or marked onto the negative? No, they were not written on. We wrote only on the, the bar of wood where the negative was stored, but not on the negatives. So you had a bar of wood, and what would you write on that bar of wood? I wrote the the number and the names, but it was not systematic. It changed all the time. And the the, the handwriting of, of the names that we see in these photographs is is that your handwriting or is that someone else's handwriting? Nut and Song could not write well, and uh, he they asked for help from other people, but for me, I could write, so I wrote, I wrote them myself. I wanted to to follow up. Uh, thank thank you for for clarifying that. 
Um, uh, just sorry, sorry to interrupt. Um, I was hoping that we would actually see that negative on the screen because um, I've, I've stopped trying to get it from the system. But I would appreciate if we could see it on the screen. Uh, thank you. Yeah, um, if we could display on the screen the, the first uh, example of that, which is um, 8639.1064. So am, am I correct, uh, do I understand correctly, uh, Mr. Witness, that this is your handwriting here and this is, uh, uh, this is something that would be written onto a piece of wood that was connected to the negative, is, is that right? President, Mr. Witness, please wait until your microphone is activated. For Witness, is my handwriting but for the number is the numbers uh, signifying the the, the entry and the outgoing of the prisoners. Yeah, just, just so the record's clear, in, in the photograph we just looked at, there's a number tag uh, that the, the prisoner had, um, but there's also a number that's been added, which I believe is a number by the, uh, used by the Tool Slang Museum. Um, and Mr. Witness, you uh, talked about this a little bit with counsel. Um, uh, you said that, um, particularly in the latter part, uh, uh, the latter time, part of the time you were at S21, uh, your words, you said that you only occasionally uh, took photos and that you usually used a uh, song. Um, when you say you only went occasionally, uh, can you give us some sense of uh, how often you yourself would go to take photographs uh, every month? It was based on circumstances when prisoners were brought from their localities at some time 10 or 20 of them were brought in a time and I was calling to take photos but when only one or two prisoners were brought in I assigned either Song or Nut to go and take photos in each month uh, there were about 10 times that prisoners were brought in. Well, let me ask you about um, uh, something you said uh, in your uh, OCIJ uh, interview, E3 7639, Khmer 00162714. English 00162738, a French 00338081. Um, you said, I assume about 200 to 300 whom I personally photographed, end of quote. And I just want to get some clarification here, uh, Mr. Witness. Are, are you saying that you yourself uh, personally only took about 200 to 300 photos uh, and the rest were taken by other members of your staff? Uh, or um, 
do I misunderstand what you were saying um, when you referenced 200 to 300 photos? As I said earlier, I took only some of the photos and the rest were taken by my subordinates. I assigned them to take those photos. Only when a large number of prisoners were brought in at a time that I was calling to take photos. And on some occasions, uh, the films were all damaged. Well, continuing on the, the next uh, page uh, of the year end pages I just provided, um, you continued to say, quote, uh, I mostly used my subordinates to take photos and I developed the film because many photos were damaged when I had my subordinates develop them, end of quote. Um, what, was it your normal practice, uh, Mr. Witness, to mostly rely on your subordinates to take the photos uh, and for you to do the developing? <clears throat> it's, it's, it's not uh, all the time. It, it depended on circumstances. Sometimes I, I also assign them to uh, develop the film, but when the film touch each, each other, uh, it damages the film. And when the film touches each other, it became gray, and the photo uh, developed will become black. Uh, I do understand that. My, my question was, um, was the normal practice that your subordinates would take the photographs and you would develop them? Was that how uh, things proceed on, proceeded on most days while you were at S21? There were also some occasions when I went to take photos myself, especially when a large number of prisoners were brought in. If only one or two prisoners were brought in, I assigned my subordinates to do the job. And, and just to follow up on that, when there were occasions where, where large numbers of prisoners were brought in, um, would it be just yourself or would your entire team go to photograph these prisoners? Uh, most cases, two of us went there and we kept one person uh, standby at our, at our place. And I'd like to follow up on, on something that you said um, uh, to a defense counsel earlier today. Um, he, was asked, he asked you whether you ever took photos, pictures of dead prisoners, and you responded yes, uh, on some occasions, after prisoners were beaten to death, we were asked to photograph them. Um, who, on these occasions where prisoners who had been beaten to death were photographed, uh, did you personally take those photos or did one of your staff do that? I myself went up the uh, up the upstairs of the building to perform it myself. 
And who, who was it that informed you that there was a, a prisoner um, who uh, was deceased who needed to be photographed? Who, who asked you to do that? It was T who telephoned me to come. And who, who told you that these prisoners had been beaten to death? Was it T or did someone else tell you that? Was, it, it was reported to Dutch, and Dutch called to me to take photographs of the dead uh, prisoner. And wh where did you go to take the photographs of these dead prisoners? It was in a building to the south. And you're talking about the building to the south within the S21 compound, is that correct? Yes. In S21, there were buildings in the south, in the west, and in the north. Um, Mr. President, with your leave, I'd like to uh, provide to the witness a couple of examples that are in evidence of photographs of deceased uh, prisoners. Uh, and uh, if I may provide them, I'll identify them for the record. President, court officer, please take the document to the witness. For the record, what's, what's been provided to this witness um, are three, uh, three documents. The first, uh, the first is a photograph uh, that appears in David Chandler's book, Voices from S21. Uh, this is E3-1684 at ERN 00192764. Um, the second is a photograph E3 slash 8063.49, 8063.49. And the third uh, document provided uh, to the witness is a uh, S21 list of prisoners who died of disease. Uh, on 12 October, dated 12 October 1977. Uh, this is E3 slash 3181 uh, at Khmer ERN 00088691, English 00784614, French 00728981. Uh, and with your leave, Mr. President, I'd like to start by putting on the screen uh, the photograph from uh, David Chandler's uh, book, uh, which appears at ERN 00192764. President, AV unit officers, project the photos on the screen, please. Well, yes, thank you. Um, uh, this photograph, in these pho two photographs in David Chandler's book, um, we see an entry photo of prisoner uh, Duke Peach and uh, a photograph uh, of his executed, or his dead body, I should say, uh, with a, a placard with his name and a date. 
Um, my first question to you, um, uh, Mr. Witness, um, but was it your unit that took uh, photographs of prisoners who died of disease uh, inside S-21? Talking about uh, the photographers uh, for taking photos within uh, the compound of S21, there were only three members of us, but for the one who took photo outside the compound were three who was the party member. And can you tell the first photograph um, uh, of the uh, deceased prisoner? Is that a photograph uh, from inside the compound? You recognize the floor uh, and the uh, sign that was put on the prisoner? On some occasions, on some occasions, a prisoner die at the interrogation uh, place, while some other occasions, prisoner died upon their arrival. Let, let me follow up. Uh, if we can show on the screen the, the next photograph, E3, 8063.49. Um, with your leave, Mr. President. We can display that on the screen. President, every unit display the photos on the screen. So what, what I want to ask you about is the, the sign that is put on uh, the dead body before, before the photograph uh, is taken. Um, do you remember your unit being asked um, to, to use a sign identifying the prisoner and the date uh, when you took photos of dead prisoners in the compound? Oh, I need a to my knowledge, the person died in the building but his body were carried outside the building and the photos was taken outside the building. And so was, was this, were these photographs of prisoners who had been taken outside the premises, uh, were these taken by your unit or were the, these taken by someone else? My unit was in charge of taking the photo. <coughs> and uh, for the record, Your Honors, the, the prisoners shown in these two photos, um, Duke Peach and Man Poo, Poo um, uh, their names, uh, they can be found in um, uh, the S-21 list of prisoners who died of disease on 12 October 1977 uh, that I referenced earlier. Um, uh, Duke Peach, the first uh, person, uh, alias Knopp, um, is number 1394 on the OCIJ S-21 list in which he's identified as a 49-year-old member of Sector 1 of the Northwest Zone who had entered S-21 on 12 September 1977. Uh, the second deceased uh, prisoner, a man, a pew, uh, is number 5389, 5389 on the OCIJ list, uh, which he's identified as a 33-year-old new person uh, from Sector 1 of the Northwest Zone, uh, and they are uh, these two people are number one and number two on the list of 
prisoners who died from disease, P3-3181. Um, are, are you okay? Do you need some water, Mr. Witness? Let, let me turn to my next uh, the subject. Um, we have a few minutes left. Um, uh, I wanted to start to, to ask you uh, some questions about uh, NEM N uh, and the, the time it was that he came, uh, first came to S21. Uh, Council uh, asked you about this uh, earlier. Um, uh, in your, uh, I wanted to follow up. Um, in your OCIJ statement E37639 at Khmer ERN 00162711, uh, English 00162734, uh, French 00338077. Um, you stated uh, the following. Uh, quote, later on, when Tanat was arrested, they sent children like little N to study photography from me, end of quote. And then uh, on the following page, pages, quote, when they arrested and brought in Tanat, about a month later after that, a friend of mine at the interrogation site uh, told me that Tanat had been arrested and brought in. The two months later, they had the children come to study photography from me. Question, what were the names? Answer, I can only recall N. Um, when you referred here to the arrest of Tanat, are you referring to the former uh, chairman of Division 703? Back. Yes. The, the, the reason I ask you about that, um, uh, Mr. Witness, because you say in your interview it was two months after the arrest of Not that Nen, Nen M came to study uh, photography from you, uh, but the S21 records, and I'm referring here to number 14866. 14,866 on the OCIJ S21 list. Uh, S21 records established that Nat uh, was not arrested and didn't enter S21 until the 16th of December 1978, which was only two weeks before the end uh, of the uh, Democratic Kampuchea regime. Um, is, uh, are you possibly confused here? Mr. Witness, about the timing of when it was that NEMN uh, came to S21, um, it, it doesn't seem that there was there's any possibility it could have been two months after the arrest of Tanat. I cannot recall the date well, but my friend told me that Nat had been arrested, and a little while later, Nyam Ain uh, came in to learn photography from me. Because before that, I never saw Nyam Ain's group. I realized myself that when the the children group possess all the photography skills, then we, the instructor, would be uh, eliminated. And if I may ask one more question before we break, uh, Mr. President, um, you, you said that same thing this morning that that if you trained these children fully, uh, you would be killed or eliminated. Why? Why did you think? that you would be 
killed and eliminated if you train these children how to take pictures. The first reason was that Tanat was the one who brought me in to work there. And Tanat was also the commander of the division where I originated from. And based on my observation, when uh, the leader of a network was arrested, then members of the network would be arrested. For example, I was considered as belonging to Tanat's network, and now Tanat was arrested, so I could foresee my, my, my fate. President, thank you, Deputy Co-Prosecutor. It is now convenient time for the adjournment. The Chamber will resume its hearing tomorrow, Friday, 16, na September 2016 at 9 a.m. The Chamber will conclude the hearing of this witness, and we will also hear the testimony of a civil party that is 2TCCP283. Parties, please be informed. Thank you, Mr. Nim M. The hearing of your testimony as a witness today has not yet concluded. You are therefore invited to come back tomorrow at 9 a.m. Court officer, in collaboration with Visu, please make necessary transport arrangement to send the witness to where he is staying and invite him back to the courtroom tomorrow at 9 a.m. Security personnel are instructed to bring Kiu Sampon and Nunjie back to the detention facility and have them returned to the courtroom tomorrow morning before 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned.